giving me and I congratulate him on securing this debate. I wonder during the course of his research for the debate whether he's had a chance to look at the case of Babar Ahmad, um, constituent of my right honourable friend the Shadow Justice Secretary who is in his place but obviously by protocol is restricted in terms of speaking in this debate. He's been in detention, Babar Ahmad, for seven years. Um, is that a case that he's had a chance to look at and, and, and qualify um, the validity of the fact that he has not been able to be extradited, deported or tried in, in the UK but languishes in a detention centre? I thank uh, the Honourable <coughs> Member for, for, for his, his remarks and his intervention. Um, I want to be careful what I say about the Babar Ahmad case, but I think we need to bear in mind that whatever the nature of the allegations, and in some of these cases that I've talked about, the individuals are plainly and demonstrably innocent, but in any event, we are dealing with that basic principle of British justice, that you're innocent until proven guilty, and we are losing sight of it in this country. And I think the case of Babar Ahmed, yeah, yeah, yeah. irrespective of the, of the nature of the allegations, I do not deny for one second that they're grave, um, the, the period of detention, uh, pre-trial uh, pre, pre detention, is unacceptably high, and I certainly think that within the scope of the UK-US treaty, that is something that needs to be looked at very carefully, both in relation to forum and the, the other safeguards that, that might be uh, available. I give way, and then I'll Jane give Ellison. <laughs> Jane Ellison. Uh, ...who secured this debate. I wonder if it might be helpful, just very briefly at this point, if I could intervene on behalf of the Backbench Business Committee to say I know there's enormous interest in this debate on the issue of Barbara Ahmed and the committee is more than happy to take further representations in the future from other backbench members for time in the chamber to return to this yeah. subject yeah. in the event that all members don't get the chance to fully explore the issue today. Oh, very good. Yeah. I, I thank the, my, my honourable friend for that intervention and, and I give way to the honourable member. Well, this point is partly addressed mine. The other issue <coughs> that Barbara Ahmed case raises today is that, and I, I wonder if the honourable gentleman shares my concern, that uh, that, that this uh, debate, uh, as a number of honourable members, uh, members present, uh, gives evidence to, is one that does demand a debate uh, on the floor of the House of Commons, uh, A, on the issue itself, but B, particularly on the issue of Baba Ahmed, for which an e-petition of more than 140,000 signatures was collected. I thank the honourable member for, 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 for that intervention. I think um, certainly we need to have a debate in, in chamber time, and, and I would say on a uh, a votable motion in relation to this. I would hope that we can deal with the, all the individual cases uh, it, within the scope of the broader policy issue about the UK-US treaty and the European arrest warrant rather than individually. And I will certainly, it's my intention, if there is enough support from honourable members across the floor and across the House to return to the backbench committee um, to seek what we originally asked for. I give way to the honourable member. Dennis, yeah. I think if we had a vote today, we'd carry it. But of course we can't have one because it's not in the chamber. And I agree with my honourable friends that have already expressed the view that we ought to be getting this uh, in the House of Commons because this, the Attorney General, the Solicitor General, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Deputy Leader of the House have all made comments when they're in opposition that they supported what we're here today to do. And therefore let's get it into the chamber and then we can really carry the vote if they will deliver. I thank the Honourable Member and I find myself in a rare position of agreeing with him wholeheartedly. <laughs> uh, 